This is the overall hardware setup for the project titled Power Quality Improvement and PV Power Injection by DStatcom with variable DC link voltage control for RSC MLC. The input to this circuit is solar. The rating of the solar panel is 12 volts and 15 watts. This is connected to the circuit through this line. The first block here is the high gate DC to DC converter plus RSC MLC converter. Both are embedded in this block, DC to DC converter and RC MLC converter. These four switches together with these two capacitors form the four switch three phase inverter. This is the microcontroller block. Since the current gain of the microcontroller is less, we are using a buffer to amplify the current. The operating voltage of microcontroller is 5 volts. This is provided by using a voltage regulator 7805. This inverter circuit has 4 switches. For, each, uh, for 2 of the switches, we have 1 gate driver provided. This is the isolation circuit or it can be called a gate driver circuit. The two switches in this circuit are also driven using this gate driver circuit. For this one separate MOSFET switch, we are using an optocoupler to provide the isolation. Here we have used MC2 to MC2. TE optocoupler. These are the resistive loads across which we will verify the output. This is the three phase resistive load. On the right side, we have designed the transmission line. We have used a transformer for this, and this is the resistive load across which will verify the output. We have connected the line to an LED to show how the line is, whether there is any sag or any other problem in the line. And this can be controlled using a pot. Now we'll switch on the circuit and see how it operates. We have switched on the circuit. And we can see the LED is glowing. This shows that the circuit is working properly. We have connected the probes of the multimeter at the input point. The DC input that we are getting is around 16 to 17 volts. At the output point of the RC MLC converter, we have connected the probes and we can see that the output is high. It is boosted output, DC output 28 to 29 volts. We have connected the probes of the DSO across the resistive loads, three phase resistive load as shown here and the output that we are getting is three phase output now there is in this transmission line there is no fault hence you can see that the LED is also glow glowing brightly and the output that we are getting in the DSO is three phase output
now will vary the pot to show that there is some fault in the line as we vary the pot slowly we can see that the led is glowing dimly now the lines that we have taken taken from the inverter will interject inject that uh, our inverter output to the resistive load here and see how the line gets compensated we have injected we have injected the line as we inject the line we can see that the led is glowing brightly and the output that we are getting is also three phase 